These are the keys to my brand new apartment and I'm so excited to show you what's in it. And I have eight steps that I need to do before I can actually say I've moved in. Starting with step one, pack my bags. I'm so excited to show you guys my new apartment. It's gonna look so nice. I've lived in this same room, the same house for the last three years. It always just feels I'm like seeing numbers go up, but my life is staying the same. And I'm living in the same hometown. I'm doing the same shit I've always done. But now it's really starting to set in on me. Like, I'm actually moving out. Don't do it, son! <laughs> Step two. I got a label. <laughs> Alright, I finished labeling. I, I don't know why I'm doing this on the- I don't know why I haven't- I just finished a very monumental thing. I finished my last league game while I'm living here, and... <sighs> It's this stuff that's emotional, man. After losing my last league game in the house, I had to say bye to a couple of things. Goodbye room that I didn't really fit in. <laughs> Cause it's too small. I had to say bye to my not working Brita filter that hasn't been changed in over a year. Goodbye fridge that doesn't have a working ice machine. Goodbye twin size bed that my feet don't fit on. Goodbye unorganized dirty sink. Don't show that. I'm gonna show it. No. I'm gonna show it. And finally, Goodbye, office. After saying a final goodbye to everything, I spent some time with my dog, then went to bed. Cause the next day is moving day. Oh my God, it feels so weird to move out. I've never driven a truck, let alone a U-Haul. But what can I say? We're on the road again, and there's no chance I'm letting anyone merge into my lane. We are getting everything packed in the back here, in the back of the U-Haul. We still have to move my bed and all these other things. I've basically got everything packed up. This has completely filled up. I'm gonna go grab my last thing and then I'm leaving. I'm fucking finished. On to the next step. Drive. My entire life in this U-Haul. And with the close of the door, I'm on my way. I had my buddy drive my bike that I've been hiding from my mom for the last two months, and I will be revealing that to her this week. I'm very nervous about that. I have finally made it to my crib, and I'm about to get out. I'm gonna get my keys. Okay, let's go. I'm so excited. I'm gonna be looking at this place that I've been looking at for the longest time. I've tried messaging them so many times before. They never picked up, but I finally got the green light that I could go tour it. And I'm so excited, bro. Like, I, I think that this place is gonna be it. It's my first time moving out. I think that this is the beginning of something amazing. Um, I am gonna miss having my mom in the house. I don't have to really clean anything or do anything, but I think that this is the next step in my life and I'm really excited. Here we are, downtown Los Angeles, my new home. Oh my god, please, baby. My first crib. This is actually so exciting. Part the wall in the middle of the street. Oh my god. That's great. I, I signed a bill. I signed a bill. Step six, I have to move everything from here to my place. And I am so close to my place, I'm very excited. My friends have not even Yo. seen it, so they're gonna be reacting to it at the Yo. same time as you guys. But I have to uh, move everything first, so yes. I'm actually really hyped for you guys to see it. Number oh my god. Here is the bathroom. Wow, that's really nice. Look at this. Boom! Wow. Boom! Wow. Boom! This is my room. Yeah, this is sick. Oh my god! And now let's take a tour of the amenities. Gym, which has cardio machines, lap pull-down machine, dumbbells. I'm not gonna use any of the cardio machines. Pool, common area, We've got a pool table, TV, a kitchen, LA Live Theater. I have experienced some trauma in front of, I'm not gonna lie, which I will talk about. We also have this shopping center. I buy all my things online and from a cheap Chinese website. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be spending any money on clothes here. Yep, 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 yep. Okay guys, I finally have the crib to myself. I'm so excited, oh my God. Oh my god. Okay, let's start with the crib tour. Starting with the bathroom. The closet. We've got the closet. The kitchen area. The kitchen area, it's not, a, it's a kitchen. 
We've got the kitchen. The kitchen. It's actually a really nice kitchen. The kitchen. Look at the kitchen. This is the kitchen. This is the living room. It's a bit empty um, and it's a bit echoey. That will change. That's gonna change. I feel really alone. It's nice when you have this kind of a view. Speaking of view, boom! Actually, the view is like nuts. This is my bedroom. Um, I'm gonna do a lot of different things to it. Like, I'm gonna change this entire setup that I have here. It's because I just moved out that I don't have a lot of stuff. Balcony number one. This is a pretty nice balcony, man. Oh my god. It doesn't feel real that I live here. Like, I don't think it's said in yet that I live here. For this to be my first ever place, I went from living in my mom's house to living in like this crazy of a of a place. Like, it doesn't feel like I own this place yet. Updated Crypt Tour. Updated Crypt Tour with updates on how I almost died. I almost died. Starting with the bathroom. I like the bathroom. There's updates to it. I got a, I got a vision board here. I do vision boards. My first vision board is actually over here in the closet, in the closet. I made this shit three years ago and actually some of the shit has come true. So make vision boards guys. It, it, it actually, it actually helps. You know, it's just a bunch of images to remind you of where you're trying to go. And speaking of where I'm trying to go, new area unlocked, hallway. We got the hallway. We got the hallway. Look at this helmet. This is the helmet I almost died in. I'll get to that. We've got the kitchen. We've got the kitchen area. Yeah. Living room. Don't mind that I'm making a coffee table. This coffee table is not finished. I'm kind of feeling like a man recently. Like, I'm working with concrete. Got in a motorcycle crash. I'm a man. New additions to the living room. We've got balls. We've got the sofa. We've got unfinished coffee table. TV. Desk. Art. Oh, chair. Chair. The office. I thought this was gonna be my room, but people scream out there at night, and I can hear it, and it's loud. We've got the library. We've got the library. We got like a couple of books. New reader. Balcony number two. Come out here. So, let's uh, talk about. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna freak the fuck. So let's talk about what happened. So I got into a motorcycle crash and I almost died. Um, a truck hit me and shut the fuck up. It was uh, quite the time. I have a video coming out about it. It was so scary because when I was doing the first part of this uh, video, it was the same month that I literally got hit. So I have not been able to be home for a majority of the time that I've been renting this place. And I'm really happy with how it came along and I'm really glad to share it with you. End of updated crypto. Okay. Ah, I sat on some. Ah. What? It kind of feels like this place is so nice. It doesn't feel like it's mine. I work my ass off, but like, it doesn't feel like I've earned it. Yeah, this is the most cliche YouTuber conversation ever. Where I'm like, oh, I appreciate you, audience. Make sure to hit that noti bell, gang. But like, genuinely though. Like, y'all make it so I can eat, and I appreciate that, like, a lot. So, um, I love you. Thanks for letting me do what I actually like to do. Wait. I also wanted to see. This is the weirdest window ever, and I have the strong feeling that I want to stick my feety weenies out it. Can I stick the feety weenies? Oh, a slight, a slight feety weenie. 